Before we move on to big numbers, try multiplying 61 with 64. We have seen examples like 98 times 97 where both numbers were below the base, 102 times 103 where both numbers were above the base and 1003 times 998 where one was above and the other below the base. But in all cases, the base was a power of 10, like 10, 100, 1000 and so on. But here, the numbers are not close to any power of 10. Both numbers are close to 60 and 60 is a multiple of 10. 10 times 6 is equal to 60. That's what we mean by a multiple of power of 10. If we had to solve something like 701 times 703, then the base would be 700. 10 squared multiplied by 7. A multiple of power of 10. We will look at problems with bigger number a bit later. For now, let's focus on this one. The technique we will use to solve such problems is almost similar to the previous one of finding the base, the deviations, the sum and the product. Just one little difference. We will see that soon. The first step of choosing the base was the same. The second step of finding the deviation is also the same. We find the deviations of the numbers from the base which is 60. The deviation here will be 61 minus 60, 1. And the deviation here will be 64 minus 60, 4. The next two steps are also the same. Sum on the left and the product on the right. The sum can be any of the two diagonal numbers. 61 plus 4 or 64 plus 1. Both give us 65. And on the right, we have the product of the deviations. 1 multiplied by 4 and that equals 4. As there is just one zero in the base, we will have one digit on the right. We write a 4 here. Is 654 our answer? Nope, that's where an additional step comes in. We have to multiply the number on the left with this multiplying factor. Here it's 6, so we multiply 65 with 6 and 65 times 6 gives us 390. And we get the 4 down. That's our answer. 61 times 64 is 3904. There was just one additional step here. Multiplying the number on the left with the multiplying factor. So find the base, find the deviations, find the sum, find the product and then multiply the left hand figure with the multiplying factor. Let's quickly try out another problem. Say we have to multiply 371 with 399. Try it out. We can see that both numbers are pretty close to 400. If 400 is the base, then 100 is the power of 10 we are looking at. 10 squared. And 100 times 4 is equal to 400. 371 minus 400 is equal to minus 29. And 399 minus 400 is equal to minus 1. Base done, deviations done. Sum on the left and the product on the right. 371 minus 1 is equal to 370 and on the right we will have minus 29 multiplied by minus 1 that will be 29. As we have two zeros in the base we need to have two digits on the right. So we write a 29 here. This is not our answer. Don't forget to multiply the number on the left hand side with 4. We multiply 370 with 4 and that equals 1480. And we get 29 down? That's the correct answer. 371 times 399 is equal to 148,029. These were the examples when the base is a multiple of power of 10. Here it was a multiple of 10 squared or 100. The only additional step here was to multiply the number on the left hand side with the multiplying factor. We will look at a couple of more examples in the next part of the session.